Hello viewers, my name is Mr. Dibanjo. Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to be solving this uh, question related to angle of elevation and depression. And uh, this question is uh, a short, this video is going to be a short video. And uh, we are going to be rubbing mind in, uh, on this question and how to solve the question. And uh, we have that uh, two poles on the same horizontal level are 16 meters apart. The angle of elevation of the tops of the pole P and M from a point halfway between the two poles, between the poles are 60 degrees and 17 degrees respectively. Uh, you have to illustrate the information in the diagram. Then we have to find correct or three significant figure, the distance of the top of pole M from the top of pole P. So this question is not uh, really uh, different from other questions we have seen so far on the uh, angle of elevation and depression, but uh, there is a, a little difference uh, between this question and the other question that we have seen before. And the students who wrote this uh, question, uh, oh, they are tested on the simple uh, things uh, on this question. They are there's a little thing they want to see. There's a little additional clause added to this question that uh, if, quest, if care is not taken, some student may not be able to get it right. So it's very simple, I must tell you, but uh, uh, there are small, small uh, additional thing added to the question that, uh, that uh, uh, that's expected uh, from the student to be able to fill in uh, those gaps. So let's see how it's going to be. We are told that the two poles on the same horizontal level are 16 meters apart. So that means there are two vertical horizontal vertical poles. We don't know whether they are of the same length or they are not of the same length. Since we are not told, we are only told the distance between those two poles. So if I draw a straight line here now to represent the first pole, I can also draw another straight line to represent the second pole. So but if you can see this two pole now, you can see that uh, this one is longer than this one. And uh, I did that be because I was able to deduce that uh, the, the two poles are not of the same length. So major majority of the students may find it difficult to comprehend that, uh, that uh, the two poles are not of the same length. And I'm going to show you the reason why they are not of the same length very, very soon. So these are the two poles and we are told that uh, they are 16 meters apart. So the distance between this pole and this pole is, uh, is 16 meters. Do we understand that? Good. Let's continue. So we are having two poles now, this pole and this pole, and the distance between them is uh, 16 meters. We are told that uh, the angles of elevation of the tops of the pole P uh, of, uh, of the pole P and M. So that means uh, this is telling us that uh, the top of these two poles are labeled P and M. So I will label this uh, top of this pole P and I will label this one M. Are we there? So let's go back. The angle of elevation of the tops of the pole M, uh, P and M from a halfway between the two, between the poles are uh, 60 degree and 70 degree respectively. So a student must be able to interpret this uh, statement. The angle of elevation of the tops of the tops of the pole p and m so that means that these two pole the the top of them are labeled p and m and uh, there's an angle of elevation that takes place at the uh, uh from a point where is that point that point is halfway between the poles the that that is the the halfway of this pole and this pole is where this point is so technically there may be somebody or a thing or a monkey or a human being which is halfway between this pole and this pole and if the person is observing the top of these two poles p and m so that's what you are having here that's the meaning of this statement the angles of elevation of tops of the pole p the top here so that means somebody is halfway of these two poles observing the top of this pole which is p and observing this top of this pole which is m are we here so 
technically there's let's say the person that is here let's say some the, the point that is here let's call it k so let's go back again the angle of elevation of the tops of the pole p and m from a point from a point so let's call that point k and that you are told that that point is halfway between the the poles so this k here this k which is representing the point is halfway of these two poles so if from here to here is a 16 meter that means uh, from this pole to k that will be eight and from this k to this pole also that will be eight because we are told that at this point where uh, this point that is observing the top of p and top of uh, m is halfway of these two poles so we can now say that uh, let's k be the point and uh, which is halfway of these these two poles and uh, the angle of elevation is 60 degrees so that means this uh, the thing that is here which is at k whether whether woman be or anything is observing the top of p so you, you have to observe the top of p so that means there will be an angle here which is angle of elevation and uh, that angle will be 60 degrees as you have been told then also you also observe the top of m as you have been told in the question so you also look up at the top of the pole uh, uh, this pole which is m so another angle of elevation is also there which is uh, 70 degrees as you have been told can we see so now of course the pole this pole and this pole they are perpendicular to the ground so that means there will be angle 90 here and also there will be angle 90 here because the pole is perpendicular to the ground and uh, this pole here is also perpendicular to the ground as well so i was telling you if you look at this diagram now of course you have not completed the diagram that's coming up so why is this uh, pole and this pole why are they not uh, of the same length because of the angle of elevation the angle of elevation is 60 degrees the angle of elevation is 70 degrees so the length of this pole is going to be greater than that, this one so if they have the same angle of elevation that means they will, the pole they will be you know the pole will be equal but because they have different angle of elevation that means the pole here is going to be smaller to this one do we understand that so we have to illustrate the information in the diagram which is what we have done then we have to find the correct or three significant figure the distance of the top of pole m from the top of pole p so you have to find distance from here m here to this p here so which is this straight line we are having here so this is the diagram that uh, uh, represents this information and they will be solving this uh, this diagram very very soon to find to find this uh, distance between the two the two top as you are as seen on the screen right now so this question is was uh, was gotten from uh, uh, YGC 2024 that we they just uh, wrote and uh, I decided to share this uh, the solution of this video with my with my uh, followers of my on my channel so in the next slide we are going to be finding the distance between the top M and top P as you have been told in this next slide So in our previous uh, uh, slide, in the previous slide, and uh, we have been able to interpret that question and we got this uh, diagram on the screen right now. So we have to find the distance between top uh, of this uh, pole, which is M, and the top of this pole, which is P. We have to find this line PM, that we are looking for. Then how can we find that? We need to further uh, complete this diagram because there are some things that are, that are missing in this diagram so we can call uh, this uh, the bottom of this pole let's call it a and the bottom of this pole let's call it b so and don't forget that this k is the the halfway of the two pole so that is this k is the middle of uh, of this uh, pole and this pole so that means we know that uh, our distance from a to k will be eight centimeter eight meters and distance from k to b also be eight meters as well so we have been able to complete that then also we can find the angle the the remaining angle here in this triangle we can find the remaining angle that is here because this is angle on a straight line so we can complete the angle that is here so if you find the angle that is here and we are using uh, angle p 
PKM which is the angle here will be 180 minus 60 which is this angle minus 70 which is this angle and that will give us 50 degrees raising angles on a straight line so that means this angle here will be 50 degrees are we there so don't forget our aim is to find the pm and uh, what else can we do and how, how can we find this uh, pm so from this right angle triangle pak we can find this side which is the hypotenuse side of that right angle triangle from this tri right angle triangle mkb as well you can find this hypotenuse side which is a uh we, we can find this uh, apotenosa which is mk then having gotten that as well we can now use this triangle pkm which is not a right angle triangle having gotten this side having gotten this side as well you can now use cosine rule to find this side you are looking for so that's how to go about the solution of that question so quickly let's see that from triangle pak from triangle pak which is a right angle triangle let's find this apotenosa side of that right angle triangle we have this side which is the adjacent and then uh, we have uh, we are looking for the hypotenuse so giving this angle 60 degrees so that will be adjacent of hypotenuse that will be cos so cos 60 will be equal to uh, adjacent which is 8 over the hypotenuse which is pk so from there we can find our side pk using uh, by cross multiplying if we cross multiply we'll be having 8 is equal to pk times cos 60 then divide both side by cos 60 that will give us a pk to be 8 over cos 60 then if you simplify that that will give us a 16 meters so that means this time pk is 16 meters we can also do the same thing to find distance between m and k or side mk so from triangle from triangle uh, mbk which is this right angle triangle here we can also use a uh, cosine which is adjacent of hypotenuse to so find this hypotenuse side given this angle 70 degrees so we can use cos 70 equals to 8 over side mk then you can also make mk so sort of the formula that will give us 8 over cos 70 if you simplify that that will give us a 23.39 meters do you understand that good now having gotten this side and this side and we have this included angle for that triangle pkm we can use cosine rule to find the distance between the two tops of the poles so from triangle pkm pkm which is this non right angle triangle we can use cosine rule using cosine rule then we have uh, the side we are looking for the square of it is equal to pk square plus mk squared minus two times side pk times side uh, mk cos the angle that is facing the side I want to believe you understand cosine rule then if you simplify or substitute the values so you have a mp uh, pm squared equals to pk is a uh, 16 you have 16 square plus mk is a uh, 23.39 squared minus 2 into pk is a uh, 16 times mk which is 20.39 cos angle pkm which is this angle is 50 degrees so that will be cos 50 degrees if you simplify that further that will give us a 16 square is 256 23.39 square will give us a 547.0921 minus if you simplify this with calculator 2 times 16 times 23.39 cos 50 that will give us a 481.11367 then you can press the calculator to simplify this that will give us pm square equals to 321.974843 so 97843 rather so then you have to find the square root of both sides pm will be equal to 17.943757 we have to approximate this to three significant figure and that should give us 17.9 meters to three significant figure so that will give us the distance between the two tops of the of the poles so that's the solution to that question it's a simple question if you are able to pull it off or or you understand this and i want to believe that you understand what the way we have done is together just now and uh, i want to appreciate you for watching this video and uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you are yet to subscribe to this channel please click on the subscribe button right now you can uh, click on the bell so that uh, you'll be notified whenever we post information on this channel also give this uh, video a thumb up and share this video with the student out there who are going to be needing this video very very soon and if you want to understand more on the angle of elevation and depression you can check our uh, the video we have made a comprehensive video 
on the angle of elevation and the pressure in the uh, in the temp in the uh, folder of this video you will see the comprehensive video we have made on the angle of elevation and depression where we expl explain and solve a lot of questions on angle of elevation and depression and as you do so may the good lord bless you thank you and i will see you in the next video